Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of the Zip Playlist. In this video, we're going to complete designing the login and register activity. And now we're going to design the account options fragment. So as you can see, this is the one that we're going to design. This one is actually simple, so let's do it. So first of all, make this parent layout a frame layout. And inside this frame layout, we are going to have an image view for the background image. Which is going to take match parent for both. And... The source is background, blurry background, and you can see extra space at the top. So to cancel that, we can use scale type and center crop. Then we want a constraint layout for the rest of the design. It's gonna take the whole screen. And here we can write our design. First of all, we need to design this. So let's do that. This is gonna be a text view. So text view. And just gonna take wrap content for both. And I'm gonna add an ID for this, which is TV app name. And then I'm gonna add a style. And this one is H3. Margin from the top 120 dB. And we're gonna add a drawable from the start. So drawable start, which is line shape. We're also gonna add drawable padding. Padding. And this one is 6 dB. Text style is bold. And finally, let's add the constraint. So start to the start with the parent, top, top, the parent. And end to the end of the parent. And we forgot to add the text, which is Klein. And that's it can add this dot at the end. Now next we want to design these two text views. We already designed them in the introduction fragment so we can copy them from there. So let me just open the introduction fragment. I'm gonna copy them and we are gonna just change the constraints for them. So let's actually do that. I'm gonna delete them all and the first constraint is top with the bottom of the TV app name. Then start to the start of the parent, end to the end of the parent. And for the margin, for the top margin, change it to 52 dB. And the last thing for this fragment is this button. So we can also copy this button from here. Let's copy it, paste it below. And now let's change the text to register. And we also gonna need to change the width and the height for this button. So here, just change this small to medium. And then let's create it. This one is gonna be 200 dB and replace small in the height to medium and create that. And this one is gonna be 55 dB. And we also need one more button for the logging. So copy this, paste it. And the style here is gonna be white button style. Delete this. And the top bottom constraint is with this button. So let me add an ID for this one, which is button register. And I'm gonna add account options. Then I'm gonna add the constraint with this one here. So button register account options and remove the bottom to the bottom constraint then we can actually add a margin from the top and let's make this margin let's say 10 db and we change the text to login finally we can add an id for this so id and let's give it button login count options now this is our design. If you want to actually preview it, we can't, but a trick that you can use, you can copy all of the design, then you can go to your login and register activity, go to the XML code of this activity, and you can paste this design here, then you can launch the app. Let's actually preview that. Okay, this is how it looks like. It's quite good actually, but we can actually reduce the margin from the top, or we can reduce this margin because the buttons actually look way too much to the bottom. So I'm gonna fix that real quick. Go to the fragment and we can reduce this 
from 52 db to 45 db now let's copy it again and review okay it kind of look the same it's not a problem actually you can do better than this but because of my tutorial i don't wanna uh, i don't wanna keep changing so let's keep it that way and if you want a better design than this you can actually use guidelines with this fragment i didn't use that because again i don't want to waste too much time on the design in this playlist so you can do that actually on your own you can write guidelines for this and make it more suitable and make it looks better for other uh, device screens because you can actually use the percentage of the screen with guidelines so you can do that on your own if you don't want to then this design is okay you can keep on it now let's actually move to the next fragment which is the login fragment and for that let's open the login fragment and go to split let me close my emulator and here as you can see this is the login fragment and first of all let's actually create our guidelines we need two guidelines so let's create them right click add helpers vertical guideline and convert this to percentage and make this at nine percentage then create another one but first let's actually change the name so guideline login left copy this paste it and it's gonna be on the right and the percentage here is uh, 91 we need to convert this first to frame layout and then let's add an image view to take the background image it's gonna take match parent match parent match parent and match parent the source is blurry image blurry background and we can add scale type center crop close this and here we can add our constraint layout match parent match parent close this then let's actually move our guidelines inside here and now we can write our design so let me show you we can get this three text views from the uh, from the fragment options so let's do that account option this one we can copy them and we can paste them above our guidelines then we can actually just change the constraints and the text so let's do that first we need to cancel the end-to-end -end constraint and make the start to the start constraint with the left guideline and we're gonna also change the margin top to 110 then for this one we are gonna also change the constraints so there won't be a constraint from the end so let's delete that and start to the start of the left guideline and we also gonna change the margin top to 15 text here we're gonna change it to let's log in and now we click on the third text uh, first of all, let's actually change the constraints. So start to the start of the left guideline. We're gonna delete the end to end, and then we're gonna change the text to don't have an account question mark register now. And the next step is to add our edit text. So we have two edit texts. Let's add them. So edit text, the width is 0 dB and the height we can get from diamond, edit text height and let's create that. This is going to be 60 dB. Now let's add the constraints, start to the start of the left guideline and to the end the right guideline, uh, right this one, top to the bottom of our this one actually let's change the name here we forgot to change the ids so let's do that so for this one instead of right address for shopping let's log in we're gonna change it in here as well and for this one instead of tv quality don't have an account account and let's get back to our edit text so top to the bottom of this one which is dv don't have an account and we're gonna add a style here style edit text then we're gonna add a hint which is email we're also gonna specify the input type which is email 
text email address and finally we're gonna add a margin from the top and that margin is 50 db close this you can now copy it paste it below and we're gonna edit some stuff here the first thing is from the top to the bottom with this one so let's add an id here ed email login so let's put it here ed email login and the input type is password text password and let's add an id ed password login and for the top margin i'm gonna change it to 15 and we're gonna change also the hand to password next we want to add this forgot password uh, text view so we can select this copy it get back down here paste it and here let's actually change the attributes first of all the id the id here is forgot password login the text is forgot password the text color is black and finally the constraint top to the bottom of this edit text which is ed password then we want to actually add this button again we can copy it from the previous one we can copy this blue button so let's do that and we can paste it here now let's change the constraints so top to the bottom of this text view which is tv forgot password start to the start of the left guideline and to the end of the left guideline uh, to the right guideline sorry and now delete this constraint then change the text to login we can actually add the width we can change it to 0 db so it will take the whole space and finally we can add a margin from the top so margin top and this margin is 15 db and the last thing is let's actually change the id for this so button login uh, login inside our login for me so login login and finally for the design is the Facebook option and Google option so let's do that so let's start with the Facebook option create image view here wrap content wrap content margin top 13 db the constraints start from the start to the start of the left guideline top to the bottom of this button then let's actually add the source which is Facebook and we're gonna also add an ID Facebook login now we need a text view now we need a text view for the Facebook word that shows here so this is gonna take wrap content to wrap content text is Facebook now let's add the constraints start to the start facebook login top to the top facebook login bottom to the bottom facebook login and to the end facebook login and that's it now let's copy both of them paste them below for the google option and we're gonna change this to google and delete start start constraint and make it end to the end of the right guideline and you're also going to change the source here to google and for the text view change this to google and we're going to also change the constraints according to this image so change it like that and that's it now let's actually preview it so copy all of this go back to the activity logging and paste them here and launch your app let's see actually okay now that how it looks like because my device language is in arabic if you want to cancel the right to left behavior you can do that from your manifest you can cancel it by typing false now if i launch the device i will get the english result even if my device is in arabic language now for the last fragment which is the register fragment well i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna leave it for you as a little practice for you uh, so do that on your own 
just the same as before you're gonna add a guideline on here and then make your parent layout a frame layout add that background image of you then add the constraint layout and start designing the rest of the ui elements so that was all for this video if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet and you can also follow me on my instagram page the link is in the description and thank you so much for watching catch you in the next video